Welcome there, everybody. This is uh, Data Pioneer here from the Linux Unix Tech Channel. And um, about a week ago, I uh, did a video uh, on Open Media Vault Network Attached Storage. Here it is. I'm on the uh, uh, YouTube site right now, the YouTube channel for Linux Unix Tech. And uh, so there it is. I did one on that. Now I decided to go ahead and do another one as a follow up. Um, I've reconfigured my network attached storage uh, Open Media Vault uh, NAS and I've created a RAID and I wanted to show it to you. Uh, let's get in to Open Media Vault and uh, put in the username and the new password and log in. Okay, the IP address is uh, Changed. It's now static 192.168.1.217. Um, host name is also changed. It's now Open Media Vault Raid. Uh, .com. Um, and the reason for that is I have created a raid. And so what I did was um, I changed my password and uh, went in and under disks, uh, what I did was I created. Uh, in addition to dev SDA, which is the 32 gigabyte uh, allocated space uh, dynamic for uh, Open Media Vault, I created three other drives that were virtual. Uh, all three of those are 100 gigabytes in size. That's dev SDB, SDC, and SDD. And then I created uh, a fifth drive, which is dev SDE. And that goes out to a physical hard drive uh, attached to USB 3.0, which is a one terabyte drive. Okay, so I've got a RAID configuration set up with these three, which is RAID 5, uh, which requires three disks minimum. And um, since there are three 100 gigabytes of allocated space each, um, I'm going to lose one of those drives in the volume. And so I've only got 200 gigabytes of total storage in that RAID but it is redundant, okay? All right, so let's go out to uh, RAID management, and you can see from RAID, man RAID management that I have um, a RAID here of Open Media Vault um, RAID, NAS RAID it's called, okay? And the device is dev MD0. It's clean, which means that it is uh, established as RAID 5. Its capacity, as I mentioned, is 200 gigabytes in size, and it comprises three devices, DevSDB, SDC, and SDD, okay? The file systems on those, uh, you can see here on the RAID 5, is EXT4 mounted, okay? Uh, DevSDA1, which is the uh, virtual disk uh, that is set up for um, Open Media Vault itself, which is uh, 32 gigabytes, but it's showing 29.4 right now. That's uh, EXT4 and mounted as well. Uh, DevSDE, which is the uh, network attached storage hard drive, uh, is formatted in TFS and it is one terabyte in size mounted as well. Okay. Um, I've got a user set up in the system here, which is Data Pioneer. That's me. Um, and Data Pioneer is an administrator and he belongs to. Users, mail, sudo, crontab, and NTP. All right. No groups set up. I do have shared folders. I've got two of those. Uh, one's a public folder uh, right on the RAID 5 set up, um, and it is referenced. Okay. And then I have another one, which is called RAID or public terabyte, set up on the uh, one terabyte NAS, and it's called public underscore terabyte, all right? And I've got a comment here that says, um, uh, if I can get to it, administrator full access, uh, users read, write, others no access, okay? I also have um, set up here FTP. I turned it on, I enabled it, and I disallowed a, a anonymous FTP, also disallowed uh, root logon. I did not want either one of those. Under SMB CIFS, um, I enable that as well so that it would interface with my Windows 10 machine. 
I said it is browsable and did not enable home directories. Um, I created two shares, uh, well, set up two shares within that, uh, which is the public and the public underscore terabyte. And um, this is the public share on RAID 5, and this is the one for users on the terabyte drive. Okay, uh, This is guest allowed public, and this is not guest allowed public. This is internal public. Okay, Both browsable, no, and not only read only. All right, and I've got SSH set up as well here. I enable that also. And um, let's see, under uh, Smart, I also have Smart set up uh, for monitoring the drives. I've enabled that. And um, the devices that are being monitored right now are these I have not monitored set up to monitor my external hard drive I will do that now and so what I'll do is select that drive I'll click edit and I'll activate smart monitoring on that drive and click save and apply the changes and so now the uh, external one terabyte hard drive connected to USB 3.0 on my Windows 10 platform is also being uh, monitored through smart so if it runs into a problem I'll get notified uh, with a uh, status change over here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you uh, the update I made to my network attached storage from a week ago. Um, the network uh, is Open Media Vault RAID. Um, the domain is landlocal.asyscom.com. The interface is here is a static connection to 192.168.1.217. All right. And I do not have a firewall set up at the moment. So this has just been an update to my Open Media Vault. Uh, I just wanted to show you what I've done. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit, click a thumbs up for it. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, the Linux Unix Tech channel, go ahead and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get notified every time I upload a video. And so um, I appreciate uh, what you uh, 